what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy and today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up and August TBR. I actually read three books this month. I think I, yeah, three books this month and I'm so proud of myself. I am so many books behind my Goodreads reading schedule, but we do not need to think about that. Let's just get started. The first book that I read in July was, what was it called? Unsold by Neil Shusterman. Unsold is the third book in the Unwind Distology, and basically the premise of the series is that abortion has been made illegal, but teenagers between the ages of 13 and 18 can be unwound, which is when they are taken apart, their body parts are used in transplants, and they are alive in a divided state. The series follows three main characters, Connor, Leave, and Risa, and it's like multiple perspectives, and it is so good, you guys. But yes, um, Unsold is the third book in the series, and I gave it a four out of five stars. Next, I finished off the Unwind series with Undivided by Neil Shusterman, and let me tell you, it was amazing. I gave this a five out of five stars because there was nothing else I could give it because it was absolutely incredible. It was such an epic conclusion to the series, and one of the things I loved most about it was how complicated the plot was, and it was like this in every book, and just how everything came together at the end beautifully. I was completely floored at the end of it. I also fell in love with the characters, and there were several points of the story where I was so upset, I was almost crying. And Neil Shusterman's writing style was also very interesting. There were lots of points in the book where he would say, not like foreshadowing, but he would be like, Connor would regret that decision later. So that like foreshadowing but also telling the reader what was about to happen before the characters knew. I don't know. I really liked it though. That is Undivided by Neil Shusterman. The whole series was great. This book was great. And yes, it was great. The third and final book that I read in July was Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. This is the th second book in the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series. In the first book, our main character Jacob discovers this whole new world of magicalness um, after his grandfather dies a very violent death. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It was kind of slow in the beginning, but it really picked up in the end, and I found myself being really invested in the characters and their relationships, and Ooh, the cliffhanger. I cannot tell you how excited I am to read the next book in the series, and the fact that there's only two more that are out now, and then I have to wait after I read a map of days. No, just stop. I need them all now. Okay, so now we are going to get into my TBR. First off, I want to read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I'm actually kind of in the middle of it. Also, can we just talk about this beautiful edition? It has green edges. Yes, please. Fangirl is about a girl named Kath, and she is a Simon Snow super fan. Simon Snow is basically like the equivalent of Harry Potter. She writes a fanfic, and it's really popular, and it's basically her whole life. Kath is going into college, and she has a twin sister, Ren, and they've always done everything together, but Ren does not want to be roommates with Kath, so Kath is really scared because she's never had to do anything, like, without her sister, and she's basically starting a whole new life alone and she is terrified. What I've read so far is really good and it's a really popular book so I'm sure many of you have heard of it but I'm excited to continue it and see what happens next. Next I want to read Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, the third book in the series and yes that's basically all you need to know. After that I want to read A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs which is the fourth book in the series and Whew! I, I'm just so pumped to read these two books. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!